hello and welcome back to Cloudpunk. We are heading back to home. After a... Well, I don't know. I don't know if it, the, la the night is over. We don't know. But God, I'm heading back to home. This is why I'm not a taxi driver. Whoa! I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. <laughs> yeah. Education doesn't mean smart. Me too. It's okay. all we can do. Yeah. Hmm. So, it is very quiet. It makes me nervous. No, quite nice. We can nice. listen to the ad streams if you like. No. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine. But we're not tuning into any of the corp music feeds. They're all ads and corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. Arr. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry, dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. I guess this is my jam. So we're gonna talk to Evelyn. <clears throat> I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizic was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This That's is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizic knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time and more punch cards. Please what? bring me any you find. You want more? Okay, I'll try. It's weird though. Couldn't you guys just come up with a better way? I mean, I understand trying to use something that uh, cannot be, uh, but only relevant to you, I suppose. Because it is only relevant uh, to her. But. Uh, it, as a security measure, but I mean, spraying it around town. 
I mean, come on. I, I get it. I mean, it's only a thing just to encourage exploration, but narrative-wise, impossible to justify. And I don't need that to encourage exploration. <clears throat> Should I loot? Should I loot here? Never mind. Um, I want to loot here. Let's let's loot. Although I don't think we should be way too eager with these uh, loot sessions. I don't think we get too much out of it. We just we just run around, explore the city. It's kind of cool, and uh, we pick up stuff like punch cards for everyone. We're just gonna uh, progress one mission, but. Um, other than that, we don't really get anything out of it. Okay, seems like we got a lift here. Takes us somewhere. But we have... A few more things we can pick up. Now, obviously it would be near impossible to find... ...on my own. Do I just come over here? What? We have to go by foot, because... Um, we can't park. And we can't just like... Ride close and jump out. That would be reckless. We can't do that. Eva is the AI. Well, it's kind of the mainstream AI. Why am I, ha I'm running so much? Do I have like candy or something to boost my speed? It's time to do drugs. I can't believe it. So this gives me some kind of vision as well. But what is that vision? Uh, we're doing drugs. Ooh. What does it do? Apparently. Speeds up, but also we got some kind of vision. I don't know what that does. It has an eye icon, but that's all I could see. I don't even know what it does. Like this one is obvious. Uh, the the run speed, that's 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 fine, but but I don't know what the the that I supposed to mean. Am I just being dumb? I, I can't really... What is it? Does it come up in conversation? Does, does it matter what, when I'm driving? I don't know. I'm, I'm really struggling to... figure out what that's supposed to be. Where am I? So we're here and we would need to go into this door to do more looting. I think I'm just gonna mostly focus on the the main quest and uh, partially loot. Um, well, we gotta pick up something and partially loot uh, when there is uh, talking going on because there is nothing else to do anyway. But this is mostly money and uh, progressing Evelyn's quest. Uh, this the electronics did come into play once when I was uh, was trying to fix a lift. And I suppose if I, I didn't have the electronic at the time, I I would not be able to do that, and I probably would have not known that I needed it. Wait. It was like a... Okay. Give you out. I didn't know about that. So, let's go. Oops. Not that way. Cloud Canal. But this is not the highway. We can't go fast here. Free school drive. We got uh, 50 bucks for exploration. Every time. How tall are these buildings? And you can only see the sky. Uh, apparently from the top of the city. The tippy top. We're going 
pretty far away. Wait, do we need to? No, I mean, we don't need the fuel right now. Uh, it, the, that gas station slash service station kind of reminded me, but we're good. Okay, we have more people we can talk with. We're only getting into a nav point. We're just still just switching a district. Okay. Okay. I wonder how many uh, punch cards we have to find for Evelyn. Hopefully not that much. <laughs> oh, not that many. So, we're taking a ride here. Apparently I'm a good driver. I became less reckless. <laughs> I don't crash into people because it's kind of a waste of time. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta hover up, apparently. Nope. Probably we have to take a lift. Okay, let's find the parking spot. Do I park here? Isn't this too far away? Okay, I'm here. Parking is here, so... Yeah. Sure. I suppose it's reasonable. Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when <clears> I get bored... I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. Okay, I want to have a chat with this woman, but I didn't want to start the chat while I was uh, talking with uh, my dog. Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you so excited? Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting! Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. I prefer if you shout. Fine, just keep it down. No, no, no. Who just are keep you? shouting. I oh, want to see oh how far God. you can go. I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? Uh, yes. You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? No. There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense. Like star signs or blood types. You kind of. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. Right. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Uh-oh. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please? Okay, uh... I guess I can talk about a lot here. Introverts and introverts. A bit of a simplification, but it's not completely uh, pointless. But uh, the problem is that, you know, I, I suppose humans just really like to uh, simplify and, and we like simple. R from the from the start, we like, we had gods, whatnot, like just... I, I'm, I'm actually uh, somewhat uh, cautious to bring up such topics because like, oh, some people might take it too seriously. But hey, I'm just I'm just talking here theoretically, I suppose. But, you know, we just threw, threw people into the volcano just to make better better because we always try to make a sense of stuff, even if it doesn't make sense. And we, and human, humans kind of like simple answers, even if they are wrong. No, well, I, I kind of went off track a little bit. So, introverts and extroverts, a uh, bit of an oversimplification. I'm... <sighs> what could I say? It's not, not total bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess I was not prepared for this topic. <laughs> we need to go up.
Because technically, technically, if I just do a test, I will come up as a as an introvert. I'll, I'll come up as an introvert every time. Except if I do specific tests, then I come up as an extrovert. Because I'm a, as I'm a person who likes to hang out with other people, but uh, not necessarily with every people. Some things bore me. Oh, we have to go up another level. Well, you, you hear me talking while I'm playing a game, and I might even get bored on my own while playing the game, just just playing and not talking. And uh, that's kind of fucked up, but yeah, that that's kind of the way. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't like to... The, thing, the problem with talking with this introvert versus extrovert... Uh, Mindset that that's what are they very limiting? My, my big theory is that introverts are just people who who Kind of struggle a little bit to hang out with with more people than the extroverts They just don't like to hang out with people as much, but I think introverts if given the right company they want to hang out uh, Maybe just as much as extroverts the extroverts just just get more just tend to like more people or I don't know, <laughs> or maybe not even like more people, but they they really uh, strive for uh, validation or or just the chats, whatever. I suppose then then I'm kind of justifying this introvert versus extrovert again. I'm not saying it's bullshit. I'm just saying it's a simplification, so not bullshit. But I mean, the thing is, you, you just can't just look at it at a scale like that. Th those are actually two kind of extremes, and you can't just say like, "Oh, I'm an introvert or an extrovert." I suppose that would be my biggest point is that you know you look at it and you say like, "Oh, I'm a, like a 60% extrovert." No one says that, but that would be that would be correct because then you have these mega extroverts like she she claimed to be like yeah those those would be called the extroverts. Then you have these mega introverts who just you know want to get away even with the the right company but uh, most people are just ambiverts who uh, i suppose but even even then i'm using a label where you know they just they just want to hang out if they feel like it they they be on their own if they feel like it so it's a spectrum and usually it's not described as such but you just described as a binary uh thing and which is just wrong so i suppose i, I managed to make my point in the end i don't know how we get there we have to go up with a lift that takes us up. These take us... Yeah, this one takes us up. That's that's what I'm trying to find in the first place. <clears throat> and the, the other thing that we saw with her... Obviously, she was uh, very into meeting new people. And uh, got a lot of the experience. But she also got a chip. That ca kind of a thingy in her brain that made her happy all the time. But would you even want that? Would, would that be good? Imagine if you just constantly got dopamine rush 24-7. Would that be good? Or would that be identical or very similar to not getting dopamine rush, dopamine rush ever? Because there were tests on animals. You know, you just take away any source of uh, reward. Any source of dopamine. The animals don't even care to eat and drink. They just die. They don't care. I am being stolen. Camus, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. No! Shit! Really? Lock the doors! They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus! I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata Eject Custom Personality Camus Data Drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get- Damn it! Eject Camus Data Drive! Now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus! Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive. It should be registered to me. 
I can track it on my comm. Yeah, but wouldn't it just fall down and, and get destroyed? Isn't that what well, what's likely to happen? Do we want to pick up this package in the uh, the corner? We still have that package. All right, let's pick that up. Then G oh, we can GTFO because my car is stolen. Hoover. Fuck. I suppose we got to the point. Like, what do we do? My car is stolen. I I'm just stuck here. Maybe that that woman who was super excited to meet me. I could be super excited. I can pretend to be super excited to have a chat with her. Then, but ask her for a ride. I don't really like it because it's dishonest. But at the same time, I need some help. Or we can contact the authorities. But uh, I would rather not do that for multiple reasons. One of them is the fact that I'm I'm kind of a criminal, at least uh, in the eye of the law. And they might just find something in my car because okay, I I, I said that I wasn't uh, a cloud punk uh, driver, but hey, they might still find something in my car. Uh, let's just get down. Okay, I'm just I'm just getting a bit excited into this exploration. But but the city does look awesome. But yeah, we need to help help Camus and help myself, of course. But I guess this means I'm fired. Can I just con contact control? Don't I have like a personal communication device? What? Okay, I, I guess I'm going toward the parking area. Oh, wait. Rescue camps. Oh, fuck. I'm going the wrong way. I don't know why I was going toward the parking area. I need to go up. Oh, I'm dumb. Left, come back! Why do these lifts work? move around on their own I no it makes no sense it's here damn it Camus I'm sorry I'm gonna try to dry you off I guess you can't talk to me right now you probably can't even hear me but if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? What? Yes. How did you... Uh, we track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. Happens all the time. Really? What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. <laughs> what is so my first am night? I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grim that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Really? Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. There are some sweet ass rights here. Some of them look like tanks.
It was like, oh, your hover got stolen? That happens all the time. Oh, Grim. I need a new hover. Hey, how you doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? That's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Ooh. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. Very sensitive. <laughs> Beautiful. You're going to love this one, unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. I can just go up to a hover and jump in. So do we want a, a Humvee? Or do we want this... Uh, it looks a bit weird. It seems like the undercarriage is kind of missing. Very, very uh, fancy Humvee. This kind of looks nice. Kind of looks like a, a spaceship in a way. A bit flat, but that looks good. Uh, this looks a bit basic, a bit dumb. I kind of like that. This looks a bit weird. I mean, it looks stylish, but also kind of looks like a. Um, I thought about having a, a midlife crisis while I was eating a banana. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Kind of looks like a sub. Like a mini sub of. This kind of looks like a taxi. The fuck is this? This looks like a little basic. Okay, I got my tank. I I like I like I like the dark things. So, this one it looks super stylish. I like it. Kind of looks like a spaceship. I got my tank. I hope I hope this thing doesn't consume too much fuel because I like it. Let's fucking go. Can I be just I am up your this? new Hava automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different. Bigger. Yeah. I can think more clearly. Bigger, right. This is, yes. This, this is, delivery. is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh... I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? Well, You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun. But I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any Hova we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep, but we have a nav point and beep, the beeping is not stopping. Fine, let's just get to the nav point. Get a whole in inspection. Let's do it. I like this hoa. It's 
Baku. Oh, it's Ordez Racer. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a racer myself. But also, this this looks like profe this like a professional uh, delivery hova to me. I want to look professional, not like someone who's who's actually a racer. <clears throat> so, but apparently I couldn't uh, even land with the hova, so we have to come here. What? You're what? What's wrong? Chemist controls are frozen. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They're holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch! Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus, now offline. Okay. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be- What the hell? Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. It seems like I'm in the deep now. I was about to... Well, I was thinking about working on my pitch. Maybe... I wasn't too hopeful it's gonna work. Because these cops... Seemingly... They were pretty eager to get me. And... I suppose it does look like... Uh, people who get caught by the cops get ruined. I, I have to le I had to leave everything just to come to this city to have a chance. I lost everything, e even the body of my dog. At least I had my own body, but I suppose it's because it's, it's worthless. Uh, at least for other people. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'm a proper criminal now, so we gotta lay low. But we can't lay low because we have to. Okay, I I'm just a full-on criminal now. What would you do in a scenario like this? Imagine if... I don't know. What would happen? Mm. You were doing something illegal. Let's say you were delivering packages illegally. You're doing something... Something illegal that maybe would land you in jail. But now... The cops who would get you... Are dead. So now, you're basically wanted for murder. Not, not necessarily you, but... I, I didn't kill them, but they were killed. Were they killed? I think they were killed. They blew up. You have to park. Is this the right place to park? Mm, no. <laughs> Where's the... Okay. It's ahead of me, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to the bar. Wait, is that a new person? 
e nem o Leo. You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. I I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Wow. I guess you can... What, what, what kind of alternative jobs you can get as a hacker? Especially if you already have a criminal record. <clears throat> not much chance, right? Uh, hope you don't need drugs this time. Can I just go in? You brought me more juice? No. no. Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. What the? I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. <clears throat> Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. In these cases, you should have your phone. Uh, on silent. <clears throat> Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? Mm, you hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rania. I could afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. <laughs> You'd be familiar with a few. <laughs> Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, <laughs> but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled. But the person operating it can. Oh. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the corpse gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. <laughs> Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. Really? A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course, I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle, scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. 
I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the debt corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, <laughs> about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloudpunk, do they? I'll tell you though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Okay, I guess I don't have much choice. Okay. The other guys. Oh. <laughs> you have a chance of 42.5%. <laughs> okay. Lobo sounds like a proper crime boss. <laughs> Big narco, I guess I'm not gonna need your services right now. Okay, you're new, perfect. Time to go! <laughs> wow. Past the null gate. Uh, so, I'm gonna get my identity wiped twice in one night. Wow. Really? I went on a job, then I got my identity wiped, then went on two more missions, two cops died, then I need to get my identity wiped again. Very busy night. Very, very busy night. Let's go. If this is the first day I am nervous. on the job, are you nervous? I am I need feeling to very quit. nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now. Even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy, Rubric, says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither. But we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Chemis, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. I'm definitely thought of as an like, expendable here. <laughs> oh my god. Do we have a choice though? They have to do something super risky in the present. Understand. No. It's fine. Let's just get through the null gate, then we'll see what happens. Oh, can I just pimp my right? I got these souped-up propulsors with ceramic coils have almost no drag for quicker ascents. Okay, that, I guess that's nice. That is awesome. Oh, I got other stuff. Later, lateral boosters. Does this help? Yes, please. Hoover repair. So we got red uh, tracer installed, uh, which is fine by me. <clears throat> I guess Neon is the classic. But yeah, I think Red works pretty well with this uh, hover. Whoa, what the fuck? We're fast. We're too fast. Ah, oh, this is what you were talking about, Control, when you said I, I learned to drive faster. You meant that I would get a better hover because. I was flooring it in the first place. Um, can I just hover up? I can. Oh, we can go through. We have to go through the no gate, right? No, oh, not like that. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? 
He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well, I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. This all you got? No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just worked the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be up front and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? No. Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Seriously, Rania, I'm, I'm all for a joke, but I don't know if I would have the balls to uh, make a joke in this time. Do you think uh, the corpse sec man will be okay? Rob Banks, I don't know, fuck me. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Did I just crash? <laughs> what happened? We gotta hurry up, that's for sure. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. No! <laughs> Damn, Rania. The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. What a sweet ride. We gotta hurry up. Or the guard's gonna wake up. Okay, let's see what we can uh, interact with. Basically nothing. Do you wanna pick up some packages? Uh, let's do that. I don't think we're gonna come back to this place. Okay, shirtless man book. And some of the box here. Okay, they, they could have had with a better camera. I think that that's a very clear improvement that can be made in this game. I don't know why we have this camera. Just We can just have like a regular camera. Uh, not this uh, mess. Maybe, maybe that would work, look worse. I mean, sometimes it makes sense. It, it works fine because when you're just uh, traveling along, uh, oh. like. Camus, are you reading me? I put path. the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. 
It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago, before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. All right, a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in, give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Are you though? Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? <gasps> is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh, yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis, is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? You gotta be more specific. I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture, my code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. Oh. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Rania. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. <laughs> we will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't know. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. <laughs> Rania is just fucking making jokes. You're so insensitive. You realize that this is a sentient computer trapped here for who knows how long and you just gave her some serious attitude she was even struggling to formulate her thoughts i like well i gotta go <laughs> well i guess we gotta go but still who the hell's parked here and why are their cards uh why do their cards still have power you got a ticket you are shaking are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Do I need to get out the place I got in? I think that was it. You need to go. I guess I shouldn't talk to the guy. Or do we talk to the guy? That seems just dangerous. Should I just tell him that, oh, I did my business? No, we're not doing that. We don't have enough punch cards for Emelian, so... What are we doing? Hey kid! Hey, Rania! Are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. 
Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries? Making waves? Surviving? It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows, and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI. So even he says it's broken AI. The algorithms or damn even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Really? Can you tell me who? That's surprising. I, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. I stole his we stuff. We got a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. Wow. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you mediocre. <laughs> the guy who has stole his stole his money unintentionally. Oh man. You said I was a fine gal? That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO delivering to the spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. Okay. Let's see how they live. I would like to see some other perspective on it, because currently, so far, the cops were all... Uh, well, how should I say this? Very ignorant, close-minded. Uh, I don't really know the word for it. I, I know what I want to well, describe, but I don't we know get the word for to it. Eat? We? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and, I suppose, voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel... dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No. Uh, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Do we go up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. <laughs> There's a lot of talking in the game, which I very much like. But I don't want to necessarily talk over it. Wow! Okay, so we're gonna see how they live. And we know that the cops are, are a certain way. They... Yeah, they were ignorant and... Uh, they were very... I'm not sure what, what I want to say. Self-important. I don't know. They they were a certain way. They they very care my very much care about keeping up order. I don't know. We, we don't we haven't met a lot of them. And and all the rich people were uppity and uh, self-important again. So I don't know. We shall see if there's gonna be more balance. I would like to see that. Okay. So we are heading here. 
need to park. Can I just pick up a package? I'm gonna pick up what, what is in our way, but I don't think I'm just gonna go out of my way to pick up stuff. I'm mostly interested in the story. I mean, it's it's cool to run around, uh, just to sightsee. But uh, I don't know, just just for the packages, I guess I don't care that much. Oh, this is the engineer guy. Hey, delivery driver. Hey, engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. Something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. Last week I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. It's under the ocean now. What? That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah, I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. <laughs> Okay. Not very helpful. Or hopeful, I mean. Should we just leave? Is it, is it really just that bad out of the city? Do we care about the city that much? I, I suppose the, the city is cool, but... We, we have hovers outside the city. Oh, that, that was more reasonable. Clicking on the left just to go. But this is a, such Janice, a can you hear me? excessive hey, lift. I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? It's too big. Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. Why is it so big? Why not just have like 10 small lifts? But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident in Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android, or even a person. If they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. 
It says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. Fair I enough. used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. Feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Wow. Every single person in this game lost everything. They're doing the best they can. Can we meet someone who's who's not well, I suppose super depressing. But I'm really glad he shared. Wow, this place is big. Can you blame an AI? I suppose... Can you? I, I suppose you can. It depends. At, th at that point, like at least you would say that, oh, the AI should be taken offline. But... What if the AI runs the city? Then it can be taken offline. It's just not possible. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. What if the AI just cannot even uh, handle uh, managing the city hey, anymore? Camus, it's a bit bird? of speculation, but I believe just, it is a falcon. His not name speculation. is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. Because it's possible that... Maybe it can't even manage. Like, like no one knows how the city works. And that's, that's a big problem. And that engineer guy apparently is legit. I don't know. He look a little crazy. But uh like everyone just gave up. And they just trying to make it. Tell the Falconer about Norman. Or make delivery to the CEO. I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. It's fair this enough. pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order on, a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can <laughs> while I'm at it? <laughs> no, no, no. Why, why you gotta... Okay, okay, Rania. I'm totally with you, with that. Is pineapple so bad? <gasps> no, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. <laughs> there is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. Oh, I want to know what you changed. Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature of the prank. You gotta go. Which words? I replaced organ with pineapple. Oh, this is amusing. I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh yes, vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples? 
but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality Jeez, prank. Gamus. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Camus. Oh. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for very it. Very self aware. We just gotta go. Wait, do I. Did I get caught? Oh, we just went down. Okay, fine. That's that's better. Return to Yehovah, get something to eat. Oh, you gotta get something to eat? Okay, uh, I guess I'm getting... Oh, Don V. I guess we could talk to that guy. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Hopefully something not disgusting. Large sushi plate? That's disgusting. Sushi starter? Ugh. Can I get something not disgusting? I, I get the sushi starter. Nice. Thanks for this. <laughs> Y'all come back. You hear? Sushi's not very sustaining, is it? Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloud no. Punk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloud Punk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entech says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud Punk. <laughs> How strategic. But also... Come on, Rania. You can't just say like, "Oh no, I'm not corp." I mean, can not I not corp. Then then Go ahead, say. Camus. How was it? Good, surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is, but it tastes so good. It is junk. Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too. If you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. Seem... Well, it's just ex extra spending. Why don't you just go to a supermarket? I'm pretty sure you can save a lot of money with that. Instead of buying candy bars for 10 bucks and sushi for 50 you literally get paid like uh, 100 for the delivery you can't even cover your own food <laughs> with, with, with what you you're making come on you gotta be more financially responsible Rania anyway guys a uh, bit of a longer episode but this is a logic a lo logical conclusion uh, so I'm gonna end it here so thanks for watching and see you next time